Shalom and welcome to Religion Week TV. Hey y'all, I'm your host Spirituality and my spiritual ears stay. Guys, welcome to this edition of Religion Week TV, right? We're gonna call this Many Laws That You Can Break to Get to the Christ. <laughs> Ah, what do I mean by that, right? Before we go any further, please subscribe down below um, and hit the bell icon next to it. You have choices, all the notifications, some notifications are none at all. You understand what I'm saying? YouTube is very clear about that. The main thing is you can hit that red box to have a choice of the three. Now, back to many laws that you can break to get to the Most High God, right? You think them people in the Bible was good and holy? Well, in order to find out, you got to join us every morning, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. East Coast time here in the United States. For the morning read, we go through that Bible line by line and precept by precept, right? So, um, basically, I know of four stories in the Bible, in the New Testament, where these people were unruly and disobedient to get to the Most High God. And you're like, what do you mean by that, Miss Religion Link? Spirituality, what do you mean by that? What I mean, guys, is this, right? See, there was a woman 12 years with the issue of blood, right? And this woman, she pretty much was ostracized, cast out, couldn't go into the inner circles of the elites and the camps. She just had to stay out like in the wilderness, ostracized. On the Isle of Patmos, per, <laughs> to say the least, right? And um, because of her condition with blood, she spent all her money on physicians. You can find this in the book of Luke somewhere. Google it. The woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. Now here's what she did, guys. For twelve for twelve years, she spent all her money on physicians. Now Luke is a physician, according to the same said gospel, right? Luke is a physician, and in the book of Luke, she spent all her money on Luke the physician. <laughs> And he's an apostle of the Most High God. That's just like church, right? <laughs> That's just like the <laughs> the church today, right? So anyway, yeah, you're in the presence of God and got to spend all your money with the man of God to get your healing. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me just go ahead and say she spent all her money on the physicians, right? My spiritual ear. That was a blessing and a, 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 a unction from the Holy Spirit to say that, y'all. Y'all don't even know. Look at me rejoicing because he told me to tell y'all something I wasn't even going to say. Hallelujah. Now that's hearing from the Most High God, right? <laughs> that's a word from the Lord. <laughs> that's how you translate the Bible into today's way of living. You look and see what the Bible says. It says Luke is a physician. He's an apostle of the Most High Christ. He has a book in the Synoptic Gospels, one of the four. 25% of the Synoptic Gospel he has written. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. He's one of the four. A physician. And this woman dealt with an issue of blood for 12 years. How good was Luke? He couldn't heal that woman being in the presence of the most high god what's going on here people so that's why i like to read the bible the way i do and make sense of it simplistically okay the same thing is nothing new under the sun you got some people who are physicians and healers of the lord today walking with the most high god in church and cannot set the captive free from their infirmities why just like this woman with the issue of blood, they lack... No, 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 no. Unlike the woman with the issue of blood, people today lack courage. 
They want to break every other law in the world except for the laws that matter to get to the Most High God. Break a law to get to the Most High God like this woman with the issue of blood did. What she did was being told you cannot come amongst the Most High God bloody with filthy rags on your menstruation. You're just fibroids she probably was dealing with and they didn't know. You know fibroids make you bleed, right? They probably didn't know she had an issue of fibroids at that time oh come on somebody let's be smart in these last days okay so she didn't know that she may possibly allegedly have been dealing with fibroids and neither did the doctors and nobody could heal her but she knew if she get to the most high god and touch the hem of his garment she'll be healed let me tell you how i know this that the Christians of the day don't believe that. They want to wait and rely on pastor. For pastor to do everything. And pastor saying, oh, <laughs> uh-uh, stay asleep, she. I need to keep paying my mortgage. Stay asleep, she. I need to keep driving my fancy car. Stay asleep, she. Hell, they have to get out here and work hard. Just like you and I to have the finer things in life. But they know there's some sleep sheep in this world. And some pastors take advantage of that. But not the Most High God. He knew this woman was not asleep, you all. And we're going to move on into the other three real shortly. He knew that this woman was not asleep and had a purpose when she touched him. She didn't just touch him just to say, ooh, I touched the Messiah. She touched him with the intentions of being healed. Why? Because he turned around and said, who touched me? And the apostles is looking like, man, it's the crowd pressing into you. Keep on walking, dear Lord. Ain't nobody bothering you. Ain't nobody touch you the way you looking and thinking somebody touched you. Mm -mm. He said, somebody touched me with a purpose. Have you touched the Messiah with a purpose today? Press through the crowds, bloody, filthy, told by the church you're useless, no good, condemned, God doesn't love you until you do X, Y, Z, and D, E, F, Z, T, E, L, G, A through Z, 25 Hail Marys on top of it. No. They said, nobody touched you, Lord. He said, somebody touched me. And the woman knew she was called out, so she just said, here I am, Lord. It was I. I was dealing with an infirmity for 12 years of initial blood. And these people couldn't heal me. These people ostracized me. They didn't care about me. They told me I was useless. I spent all my money and they left me for dead. But when I heard you was in town, I said against all odds, by any means necessary, I'm going to love my way to the Most High God and fight myself through this crowd like Malcolm X to do so. You see? And she pressed. And she defied all laws at that time that told her, you're not supposed to come in this area, in this vicinity. You are no good to us in your condition. You will contaminate the rest of the camp. You got something wrong with you, lady. And it's not our problem. These are the men of God at this day and age. These are the Pharisees and the scribes. Now, they're kinfolk to God. They're the tribe of Dan. But these are the people telling her, making the rules and the laws of the land then like people make the rules and the laws today. You out here breaking all these rules and laws whether you go to jail or not, a criminal is a criminal, documented or undocumented. You remember that. Breaking the law is breaking the law regardless, guys. I know I don't got no lashes. I got them on, but they really, really, really thin and you can't see them. It's okay. Don't look at this. Hear what's being said. Thus saith the Lord. Now. This woman touched the hem in the garment and told the Messiah, I knew if I touched you, I'd be healed. He said, I felt the virtue go out of me. Have you felt the virtue come in you from the Most High God yet? Then you haven't touched him. Until you feel his virtue, <laughs> like I have, I felt that virtue come in me. I felt the uniqueness, the peculiarness, the controversy, the variance. 
the light shining from amongst me, in me, on me, and all around me. See, it's getting brighter in here, right? I can't make this up, people. I can't make this up. Neither can you. That's one of the ways you can break the law and be in the presence of the Most High God. Is to stop walking in doubt and unbelief. Stop listening to the voice of the enemy. Even the enemy which is amongst God. But they don't know any better sometimes. These apostles and people in the presence of God. Putting on collars. Acting like they godly. They don't know no better. They tell you to stay away from God. And put your hope and trust in them. No. You press past all the crowd. In your condition. Touch the hem of the garment of the most high God. Now if that story right there blessed you, please cash at me forty nine ninety nine and receive your healing. Anybody dealing with the issue of blood. Now, I told you my story with fibroids. I can relate to this woman. For two, three, four years going on back about ten, fifteen years now. Lord have mercy. They couldn't figure out what in the love of God and then it was fibroids was going on with me. They couldn't figure out when the love of God was going on. Fibroids. And I told you right down to surgery to have them removed. When they were going to um, remove the fibroids. Because we thought it was my uterus. Plan scheduled to have my uterus removed. And there was a fibroid right behind the uterus, lies against the wall, causing the most bleeding. So I can relate to what this woman was going through. I had Medicaid, hell, they paid for my bills. I didn't worry about the physicians because I had Dr. Dropkin, one of the best OBGYN gynecologists in the world, plaques all around his office to say so. And, um... I was in good hands, but I can relate to ostracizing myself because I didn't want to go around people like that. But I knew if I pressed to the Most High God Christ, one way or another I'd be healed. Surgery was one of the ways I had to go, a partial hysterectomy, to be healed. But I was healed. You people don't believe that there's a way out, an escape. You rather just stay on the outskirts of the church and of the congregation suffering with your issues than actually receive Story the number healing. two. I'm going to go right into the ten lepers. They were lepers. The book of Luke, again, Google it. Ten men walked up to Christ and said, hey, Lord, we tired of living like this. We tired of being lepers. Heal us, Jesus. Heal us. And at that time, Jesus had not come into his full glory. He was still a man. He couldn't do nothing. He wasn't there to make the laws. He was just there to be the light of the world. The Pharisees and the scribes still had uh, over a powership over the laws of the land. So anybody wanted their healing from anybody, anywhere, you had to go through certain custom traditions through the Pharisees and scribes. So they can approve and see if you're ready to be healed and come back into the camp. Approved, uh, healed of your leprosy, healed of your lunatic uh, disease, bipolar, schizophrenia, the demons being cast out of you kind of thing, you know. So, he said, I tell you what, this is the Messiah. Go to the Pharisees and scribes. That's all he said. Walk that way. Go. And on the way there, to be redeemed or be considered of their leprosy, they were healed on the way. <laughs> now that's a powerful word right there. Just go to the Pharisees and scribes. Like he told the centurion, go and your child will be healed. The Pharisenetian one, Pharaoh, Syrophoenician woman, go and your daughter will be healed of that evil spirit. Doubt and unbelief. Break the laws, I'm telling you, because the lepers had no business walking up to the Most High God. Christ, they were supposed to be on the outskirts, but they said in their own minds, if I can just ask this man to heal me, I'll be healed. Ask him. He's going to say, go to the doctor, 
Tell him this. Tell him to test you for that. You're going to hear that small still voice. He's going to say, go before your throne and pray, your altar, wherever that is. Pray, seek me. And I'm telling you, it's not the $49.99 that you give to the church. It's your doubt and unbelief. <clears throat> That's not causing your healing to come to you. Anytime you go to the store, right, and pay for something in the store, you get an investment, a return back. Anytime you put your $49.99 into the church, you don't always get back what you want. That's a misconception of the church. You reap what you sow. Yeah. You sow money into the church, but do you always reap it from the church? Alright, so now, break the laws to get to the Most High God. You want to break the laws of the land. You want to follow everybody else's laws, but you don't want to follow the Most High God. So he says, keep your eyes on the prize of the Most High Calling. You can't keep your eyes on him down here because he's up there. Remember, the word says to keep your eyes on every, your thoughts, your, you know, look above up to heaven. Look at his glory behind me. Jesus. So much natural, affectionate light now, coming through. Let's see. All in the book of Luke. Let's see the third chapter. Zacchaeus. The little rich man, little in stature. Heard that Jesus was there, right? Now, this ain't so much breaking the laws, but it's the laws of customary tradition. Because rich men don't be climbing no trees to see God. Okay? They had a little pompous attitude about his little self and little stature and nature. And this little man knew that Jesus was at somebody's house. And he wanted to go see the Messiah. I call him Jesus every now and then. I'm only five years removed from Christianity. Still a little brainwashed here, but I'm coming from out amongst them. People, his name is Yeshua. You know what time it is. When you've been in a religion for so long, I, I still use parts of Christianity to govern my life. Hell, I did it up until five years ago. Why well, am I going to let go of some of that that helped me change? But now I just put it to the Messiah and put it to the Most High God. I don't go through Jesus anymore. There's the difference there, people. So anyway, listen guys, right now, Zacchaeus, I can't pronounce his Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, yeah, Zacchaeus, the little man of the Bible, climbed the tree, it's a song out of Bible. When I give you the Bible verses in the next video, I'll try to find that song, either sing it or play a little bit of it for you, but it's a song out about Zacchaeus. I hope I'm saying, yeah, Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus climbed a tree. He heard the Lord was somewhere and, and uh, was, you know, um, congregating, fellowshipping <laughs> amongst the people, right? Where some of these gods don't want to be. God is always amongst his people. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, right? So anyway, Zacchaeus climbed a tree. He says, Zacchaeus, get down here. This is my side. Get down here. What I'm telling you is, Sometimes morally you got to step out of character to get to the most high God. Sometimes you got to break the law of integrity. Because most people wouldn't climb a tree to see nobody. You know, you, your, your integrity is on stake here in front of the people, public opinion. No, break those laws of public opinion. Who give a damn about public opinion when it comes to the most high God? Get your ass up that damn tree. So he can notice you and say, come down. And then he'll go sleep at your house like he did Zacchaeus. <laughs> Zacchaeus. <laughs> I hope I'm saying his name right. Get your ass up that tree. Climb the tree. We used to climb trees. We grew up on a farm in, the, in New York State. But we used to climb apple trees and sing, money, 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 money. Mm, 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 money. We used to tie them damn towels on our head, get microphones, little sticks, wooden spoons, whatever. Break sticks off and, you know, the the brush around us. And we climbed them apple trees. Money, 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 money. You reckon the, the Lord seen us <laughs> up there and said, come here. <laughs> yes, like the kids, honey. Anyway, listen to me, people. Break the laws that matter. 
out here talking about you breaking laws and ain't never been convicted, never went to prison, never went to jail. Thank God I had because it taught me not to be illegal anymore for the most part. There's some things the state, the laws said, like federalism, you cannot have an abortion. Hell, mm -mm. there's some laws I ain't trying to follow in this world at all because they don't apply to me. I don't came from amongst them as well. But there's other laws in the, in the word of God. I will break and encourage you to break. To get your blessing, your healing, to receive your salvation. Because when he got the Zacchaeus house, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus, he told that little man in stature, because of you climbing that tree wanting to see me, ah, salvation has come to your house today. Go look these things up. I'm giving you Bible tea at its best. Now the last one. The last one, I had four of them. Oh, God. It was the woman with the issue of blood. It was the kids. It was the leopards. And it's one more. Oh, 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 oh. The woman. I'll just throw this in here because it wasn't really part of it, but it's a good one to fill in. And in the next video, I'll remember what the fourth one is. So you see how there's five laws now? That you should be breaking. People knew Christ was not there. But nobody but for the Hebrew Israelites. The one that were lost. The one that were gone astray. Like today. He's not here for nobody but the descendants of Israel. The real Messiah. The ones who are asleep today. Living as Christians. Gone a whoremongering. Fornicating. Living and adul adulterating after other gods. On the one true God. The Messiah. Right? So this woman said, I wouldn't give a damn who he came here for. I know he the Messiah. He got power and he can heal my daughter Vex with an evil spirit. You better recognize people. If an outsider can go to Christ and break the laws, the people of the natural olive branch of the natural fold, his sons and daughters whom he created through Adam, and they birthed out the 12 tribes through Israel. Jacob is his formerly, Israel formerly known as Jacob. <laughs> he knew. She knew that he didn't come. But she went to him anyway and said, Master, my daughter is that sore with an evil spirit. He said, and <laughs> I will not cast my, my good pearls that I'm over here clutching. On swine, lady. Get out of here. Beep, beep. Even the dogs eat crumbs from the master's table was the conversation. Woman of great faith. She broke the law. It wasn't nobody right outside the, the Roman centurion. They had no reason coming to the Messiah. Because Acts 5 and 30 says he came for Israel. That was the descendants of Jacob to give them forgiveness of sins because they were some wicked ass people just like today. Y'all have not changed. We are still caught up in the wickedness because we was deceived and drawn away by what looks good, what sounds good, what's pretty to us, what can soothe us, what can comfort us for a temporary, a temporary time. Those people, our ancestors of the same Bible, in repentance, you need to repent from your wicked ways, people. Stop making it a worldwide thing. This is specific. The Romans knew it. The Roman centurion knew he had no business asking Christ anything. And that uh, Syrophoenician woman knew she had no business. But they broke the laws of that day to get to the Messiah. Not to betray him like Judas Iscariot. No, but to actually receive of him. You people want to receive of everything else but what matters. So you've been watching Religion Link TV. I'm not going to stay too much longer. Matter of fact, I hope I haven't went over 30 minutes. Oh, it's only 24 minutes. So let's keep talking. You have a way of an escape. You can break every law you want in the world and wonder why you struggle because it's not 
helping you get to the Most High God. The laws I broke in the day that got me sent to prison led me to the Most High God because it was there. I really began to take Christ serious. Even the white Jesus and changed my life around people. And then five years ago, I realized that there's no way I should be a black woman fully with white blood in me, reading a Greek Bible, serving a white Jesus. That just does not line up. Like Bob Marley said, we have to look out and see people like ourselves to save us. We have to save ourselves. As a black nation, we have to begin to save one another. And that's hard for a lot of people to do on these YouTube streets. So guys, yes, I'm here, you know, I'm moving. Uh my house gets inspected on Wednesday by the grace of God. And I'm just going to stay humble and um come on camera as I am. And once I move, you will see the side of me that I I know you guys have been longing to see. Because there's only one diva in the kingdom of heaven. And that's your girl spirituality. And you have been watching Religion Link TV. And this edition of many laws to break to get to the Most High God. To get to the Messiah. Begin to break these laws people. And you will begin to stop breaking the laws of the land. Like I did when I was 19 years old. By the grace of God. I have not been rearrested or back in jail or prison since then. Now that's a used to. Some of you guys on YouTube are heading to prison. Headed to the courthouse. Headed to the judicial system. And by the grace of God, he has been keeping me out since 1994 when I got off of parole. And I'm not out here breaking laws undocumented. I really live a true life to break the laws of the Bible to get me closer to Christ. When people in church tell me I got to sit in the back of the church and I can't be near God, I press through the crowd spiritually and I touch the hem of the garment. When people tell me I'm too little in, in stature and nature and I can't get to the Most High God, but I'm one of the richest people around. And in that days, wealthy people had a right to the front, had a right near God, you know. But um, that's how the church is kind of today. You got more money, you sit up to the front. You donate more, you sit up on the deacon's board and stuff like that. You're related to them, you got a position. But I have to, you know, be like Zacchaeus. And go ahead and just climb a tree. <laughs> when they think I'm so little and can't even climb a tree to see the most I got. I've climbed several trees in my youth. The apple tree singing, money, 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 mm, 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 money, yes, baby. All right, see yourself in this Bible, guys. Now, to move on, the ten lepers. <coughs> I have a cough, develop a cough. It's not cancerous or anything like that, but I'm pressing into the most I got. I know it's an attack on my sensual, sexual voice. That I've had for years. And ever since I became willing to go live with my teaching September 2017 over on Facebook. I've been filling up with not even fluid. It just seems like it's there. It seems like it wants to gag me. But again, I'm not coughing out nothing or spitting out anything. My nose isn't clogged up. But that's the symptoms and the effects I've been dealing with because of me willing to teach the word of God simplistically. So you're not confused. See, the devil want everybody to teach it with confusion and chaos and contention. That's not. Look at the light shining behind me, guys. This is a, 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 a not even lime green, like a soft pale baby green uh, 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 yeah like a, a real soft soft green look at the light change it God is good anyway you gotta be like the ten lepers and say regardless of all that I got a sickness I have a disease 
don't claim these things, people. But if it is what you're dealing with, I have a call. I still have to come before the masses. Sometimes I can cut my microphone off so you can't hear it. But it is what it is. Now, the Seraphonician women. If you tell me God is not for me, but I know the Most High God. I know Yahweh is. I know being a Hebrew Israelite is. I am going to go to him and ask him for my child's healing. Even if I know I am not a real Hebrew Israelite, I'm still going to go to this Messiah who I know can heal. I am going to break the law, whatever faith I'm living in, and come to the one I know who can heal. Does that mean I'm a full-fledged Christian or Hebrew Israelite? No. But if the God of the Bible can heal, why are you still living in other faiths and other religions and other beliefs? Ill. Infirmed. Come, receive of him. He's the bomb of Gilead. So people, I think I'm pushing on 30 minutes here now. Absolutely 30 and some change. I'm done. God bless you. You've been watching Religion Link TV. Please, figure out a way to begin to break the laws that lead you to the Most High God instead of break the laws that's going to lead you to prison. I'd rather be, oh, I used to do that. I used to think that way. But now knowing the Word of God, I'm lining up with what the Word of God says. There's people who grew up in church, their families own churches. My family started a church in 1800s here in New York State, the very first church in Skodak. And these people, that's probably where I get my spirituality from. But growing up in church and see people act like the devil and don't line up with the word of God is, why are you bragging about growing up in the church? If I grew up in the church, I have a little bit more of church and God in me. But you got a lot of people that didn't grow up in the church. I went in my teens and youth and things like that. But it wasn't forced upon me. Nobody I know on my mother's side was into it that heavy. But thank God he said he was into me, into you. Because he never leave you nor forsake you. Amen, right? Guys, with that being said, go ahead. God bless you. Thank you for breaking the laws that lead you to God. Then away from God into the belly of the beast, which is Babylon, the system of the modern day plantations. Because if some of you YouTubers out here don't stop breaking the laws like you're doing, the laws of morality, the laws of integrity, the laws of humankind, the laws of God, and the laws of the land, you will find yourself where God removed me and Brother Paul from. And that's a place called prison in your own mind. You're bound. Break these laws that are set the captive free. The closer you get to the Messiah, whether you break a law and it ends you up in jail or not, because of his righteousness sake, because of his sake, he's going to protect you there, right? But if you're out here breaking all the other laws, scamming the government, scamming people, scamming you two, it's only going to be for you. Because remember, you were taught, you reap what you sow. So if you reap havoc, hell, hatred, envy, bitterness, shame, confusion, be drama, what you going to reap back, people? And see, if you sow it sparingly, you only get a little bit of a bag. But if you sowing it much, you're going to reap a whole lot of that bag. I'm your girl, Spirituality. You're watching Religion Link TV. And guess what, guys? You should know it by now. Even my five-year-old granddaughter grabs this little thing and says, <laughs> I'm Spirituality and my spiritual ears stay. It's becoming a household name, you all. Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And enjoy some of the promo that comes along with this video. Thank you.
a sip of this. I've been wanting to do this. Hold on. I picked this cup up like five times. <laughs> Shalom, everybody. Have a great day. <laughs> remember this. Plenty things. I just came up with a few. And I'm going to remember that other one. I'm going to put it in the next video. I'm going to link the two. I'm going to give you the Bible verses of the stories I told you about today. And I'm going to remember what the other one was. Is the leopard. The woman with the issue of blood. Z uh, Zacchaeus. <laughs> the woman. The Seraphonician woman. And the Roman centurion is what I told you. If there is one. It may, it may have been the Seraphonician woman. But if there is another one, I'll definitely link it down below into the next video and tell you all about the Bible verses. You guys, thank you for your support. I am so excited, you all. This has been a dream come true. A vision of mine that I've seen years and years and years ago. And I'm starting to live it out now. It's been in motion since then. And I'm finally reaping the benefits from it. 